Hey folks, Jen or Murgriffin here and taking a look today at the uh, VMAX by Smoke Tech. Let's go ahead and get the look at it out of the way so that I can rant when we're done. Alright, let's see what comes in our VMAX box. They come in either black or silver. Hmm, funny that. <clears throat> Yes, this is going to be a very sarcastic and ranty review. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Hmm. It has little dots on the top cap and on the bottom. And it comes with their standard English instruction manual of difficult to decipher wordings. Hmm. Yep, menu is almost as convoluted. So basically, your features are voltage up, voltage down, standby, so basically on or off, um, battery check, do weird things with the display, and have it the LED light or not. So the only feature from the Provary menu that it's missing is the atomizer check. Hmm. Wonder where they copied that menu system from, huh? Yeah, that was a little snarky. So, yeah, snark on. Hmm. Ridges on the side. Hmm. Light up clear button. Hmm. Angle top cap and trip well. Hmm. <laughs> now, of course, the significant drawback is it does not use one battery. It uses stacked batteries. Now, it claims it has all sorts of protection, but you know what? It's still stacked batteries. And okay, when both things are lighting up, the combination of blue fire button and red display are garish. Just my opinion. At least my program lights up the same colors on both. Oh, and look. Oh, you don't think that's slightly copied from anything, only not quite as finely machined? Hmm. Oh, well, okay, the button's not on the same side, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Not quite as a solid metal... I'll get to finish that rant a little later. And you can see my face. So here's our menu. So UD is, you know, UD is voltage down. <laughs> UU is voltage up. LED off. They're, yeah, I, I'm not sure why they call the menu things that, but they do. So voltage up. Let's go. Let's stick it and see what we get. So, now, under load. And I'll talk about the actual voltage a little later. But, so, voltage down. I have it set at 5.5. Want to put it on load, 5.4. Call up menu again. Five point zero. That's with load. So without load, it's one point under. With load, it's point five under what you have it set at. All right. Now let's take it down from five point five. So remember, when you have it set at five point five with nothing on it, it fires at five point four. Something on it, it fires at five point zero. Now I have it set at three point seven. Without anything on it, three point three. Let's put something on it for testing under load. And what do we get? We get grounded 3.6. So, oh no, I did the I did the no load first. So that was with load was 3.3. So it drops 0.4 to 0.5 when it's under load. And 0.1 when it's not under load. By comparison, 
Let me just do my probary. 4.6. Okay, that'll do it. Mm, fire. Hmm, 4.6. Exactly. Now let me put it under load. Measure on. Ground on mod. Hmm. 4.57. Pretty close to 4.6 if you ask me. So less than a point drop under load, no drop. The VMAX. It's under 100 bucks. It's a variable voltage mod with a nice menu, a nice light up button, decent menu. If a little odd, I'm torn because we want reasonable price mods to help people keep off cigarettes. Two, I want the Chinese to stop ripping off the hard working designs of other people. Um, this is a freaking Proberry clone, only they didn't do it quite as well. Um, but there's some serious other problems with it beyond that. Um, one, it uses stacked batteries. Even the lava tube and all its cheap plastically glory, which was less expensive, um, and other than the problem with low cardamizers, you know, low resistance stuff, which the Provara used to have too, um, it only uses one battery. So they got that right with the lava tube, which, and we used to call this a Provari clone. Uh, we had no idea the height of cloning to which they could go. So, stack batteries. Number one, you know, out the door. Two, you know, it's using the pulse smith with modulation. And other people, and I uh, myself have talked about this before, with the egos and the SVR, that's the fact of, instead of, you're conserving battery or energy output by instead of holding a flat voltage, you're fluctuating it really fast so that you can't tell that it's not on all the time. Now, there's some calibration involved in that in something called the duty cycle, which is how far between on and off, how far the space is until it comes on again. <sighs> Whoever configured this one, and I hope they have a new version out soon, because this is just funky. And you saw in the video that while the Probably seems to be fairly precisely calculated in that its voltage under load is less than 0.1 away from what you have it set at. Its voltage with no load is exactly what you set it at. Um, this puppy um, under no load is at least a good point below what you set it at. With load, it's four to five points under what you set it at. Um, but even given all that, this thing hits like a freaking truck, and that may not be a good thing. Um, I think it's not calibrated right, so that when I have it set for 5 volts, there's something wrong with the amount of time that it's on and off, that it's actually providing more power to the atomizer or cardamizer than you really set it for. I find myself on this constantly lowering the voltage. Now, I don't like a real high voltage vape, but on these dual coil cardamizers, I usually have my Provari set at 4.1 or 4.2 volts. And the vape is roughly equivalent. To this. Now I want to show you what I have it set to. Which of course you probably can't see. Because it's that nasty uh, crazy light. Um, anyway, I have it set to 3 volts. 3. Only 3. I have another dual cola tank on here. Now, it's not the same juice, so the vapor may not be the same effect. Um, and I have it set to 4 point one volts. Less vapor and less hit off of what I know is a fairly accurate 
steady non-pulse modulated speaking in tongues non-pulse with modulated device now it could be that my um, multimeter wasn't reading it correctly I was honestly too lazy to get out the oscilloscope and actually look at the duty cycle because I'm not an electrician and I get all confused if Mario's not there to help me um, but it just feels wrong and I've talked to other people in the forums and in the chat rooms and they pretty much agree with me whatever you have it set at it feels like about two to three volts higher and I'm like constantly lowering it even when I put a high voltage atomizer on it I'm not going over like four four and a half volts however it's set and it comes set in the box at a fairly high voltage <coughs> I think it was set at four and a half or five. So imagine taking it out of the box, slapping your old favorite atomizer or card mine on there, and uh, exploding it. Ah, cool. So yeah, they need to do some serious adjusting to these. Now, if you like smoking your brains out at high voltage, maybe this will let you go higher than anything else will. But uh, I actually think that's a little dangerous, um, especially that it's not accurate. Now, I, you know, if you know, you can adjust, but still, we should have some sort of consistency in the value displayed on the mod and the amount of power actually going to your carbonizer or atomizer. So that's part of my rant. The other part is, you couldn't be a bigger ripoff of the ProVary if you tried. Now, I like my ProVary. I think ProVape is cool. I think they made one of the best, albeit pricey, mods that we have available to us. And that's awesome. I don't like the fact that someone is basically trying to make a cheap knockoff to take sales away from them. Now, I don't know if you know much about manufacturing, but it costs a lot to bring a mod to market. You have to do research and development, you have to pay for the prototypes out of pocket, and that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, they've probably sold enough of them in the past couple of years to make up for that, but still, they deserve a fair earning for their ingenuity in creation and completely and totally ripping them off um, doesn't do that. But I would like people to be able to have more affordable mods with some of the same feature set perhaps. Um, so maybe it's a call out to Burbape to uh, you know kill the Chinese by making a non-stainless steel cheaper version of the ProVary with some of its features. In the meantime, I honestly can't recommend this. It is calibrated completely inaccurately. Um, and it's still using stacked batteries. If you really want cheaper variable voltage mod, um, go with the Lob 2. Or one of the Ego 3 SVR kind of adjustable knockoffs. Or heck, just go with a $24, $25 Ego Twist. Um, you're still going to get your variable voltage. It's still reasonably priced, um, and you're not feeding the Chinese knockoff syndrome. And that's my rant. Thanks for watching.